In this video, we'll be discussing the basics of Pi System Explorer, or PSE as it's known for short. Pi System Explorer will be the main tool for configuring and managing Pi Asset Frameworks, Pi Notifications, and Pi Event Frames. We'll start by opening Pi System Explorer by going to All Programs, the Pi System folder, and looking for this icon of the yellow folder with the magnifying glass. Now as PSE starts up, we'll notice that the screen is divided into several different sections, so we'll go over each of these. Starting in the bottom left, we have what's known as the Navigator Panel. Now here you'll see that there are several different sections that group together different objects that you might want to work on within PSE. Starting from the top and working our way down, we have the Elements section, the Event Frame section, the library where you can work on things like element and event frame templates or tables where you've imported foreign data. Next we have the unit of measure database where you can select or add new units of measure. The next three sections are for managing PI notifications and the final section label analyses is for our new asset based analytics within AF 2.6. Here you can manage all the analyses that you set up for various elements within your AF database. Now you may have noticed as we page through the different sections of the navigator panel that the section above was changing. That brings us here to the browser. Here you'll be viewing and selecting the various objects that you want to work on in PSE. Right now I'm within the elements view so I can see all my hierarchy of elements and select any of the ones that I want to work on. And the next thing you may have noticed is that as I selected various elements, this section over here to the right started changing. This area is known as the viewer. And here you'll find the detailed information on the objects that you select in the browser. So here I've selected an element called BLR-01 and I can see from the general tab that it's based on an element template called blower template. I can go to the attributes section and see the various attributes with data for this asset. Now when I select an attribute, I can also see there's this new section down here called a configuration panel, and this is where you'll see all the configuration information for various attributes displayed. The final large section that you'll notice is to the far right. And this is called the palette. From here we have a tag search where we can quickly find tags, drag and drop them into the attribute area to make new attributes, and also an element template list for the database where we can drag an element template into the viewer into the browser area and create new elements. You might find that having all these different components open at once creates a rather crowded screen. So if you want to optimize the real estate on your screen, you can always close the palette to allow more room for the browser and viewer. If you need to get the palette back, you can always go to the view menu, select palette, and show palette to bring it back up. And you notice that I use the view menu. We have a typical list of menu dropdowns available in PSE and also a toolbar with buttons that translate some of the menu actions for easy access, such as finding or creating new databases through the database button or using the check-in button to check in work that you've completed in your database. One thing to note about the menu bar is that it is context sensitive. For example, I'm now in the elements view and if I select the tools menu I have three options to select from. Now if I change to the notifications view and go back to tools I now notice that I have five options because there's some additional options for managing notifications. The last thing to mention is the status bar. It's down here at the bottom. And this will tell you the status of a selected element. For example, it's telling me here that the BLR01 element was last modified at this date and is using this version. Also, if an element is checked out for editing, for example, 
if I create a new attribute, you can see the element is now checked out with this check mark. And when I select it, it shows me who has the element checked out and at what time they checked it out. This means that other users will not be able to edit this element until I've checked it back in. So to review, we went over the major components of PySystem Explorer. Those being the status bar, menu bar, the toolbar, the navigator panel for selecting groups of objects to work on, the browser for selecting individual objects, the viewer for configuring objects, and finally the palette where we have quick access to templates and tags for drag and drop editing.